The inland shipping sector is an important link in the logistics chain. With its large and varied fleet, inland shipping is a reliable partner in the transport of large volumes and specific products. The inland shipping sector is on the way to a cleaner future. That is an enormous challenge. International requirements relating to energy saving and clean air are becoming stricter. Commissioning parties, too, are increasingly setting good environmental performance as a precondition for the purchase of services. To ensure that the inland shipping sector continues to play its part in the future, it must invest in cleaner ships now. Fortunately, help and support are now available from the EU. The European Commission Life Fund is assisting and creating opportunities for 17 partners in four EU countries to prepare for the energy transition in inland shipping. We have devised a program, Clean Inland Shipping, CLINCH. CLINCH tests innovative emissions reducing technologies, alternative fuels and shore power in order to contribute to reducing emissions. From March 2017, we will be carrying out monitoring activities on 30 ships in real time in order to gain a picture of the environmental gains from catalytic converters and clean fuels. This will provide valuable data for policymakers in government bodies, professional organizations and ports, for example. Clinch also sets out the business case of the various measures for skippers. This is necessary because inland shipping differs from other sectors due to the often smaller size of the businesses and longer payback periods. Specific types of investment are therefore needed in order to make the fleet sustainable successfully. Clinch provides valuable information that financial organizations can use to develop appropriate instruments. There are also environmental benefits to be gained when inland shipping vessels are moored. The energy needed for loading and unloading, heating, lighting and other activities on board has until now mostly come from generators. Changing over to shore power means reducing many harmful emissions in and around ports. Clinch highlights the benefits of shore power for local governments, helping them gain support for investments in shore power. The European inland shipping sector, freight and passengers, has almost 15,000 vessels. It is expected that by 2025, a quarter of inland shipping vessels will have been adapted to limit emissions. By 2050, that should be half of all vessels. This will yield a saving of 141 kilotons of nitrogen oxides between 2020 and 2030. In monetary terms, the gain to the environment will be 1.6 billion euros, achieved through lower fuel consumption, better air quality and prevention of illness, for example. A European tendering procedure is being launched for both the test with innovation technologies, alternative fuels and the test with shore power. Skippers, shipping companies and harbour companies are invited to sign up. It will provide you with knowledge about the environmental gains you have achieved, put you in a uniquely strong position in your sector and give you financial recompense. Clinch is also of interest to entrepreneurs, trade associations, government bodies and others. You can benefit from the knowledge you gain and receive support in implementing measures with a proven track record of practical value. You will reach your destination more quickly and you'll get further if you take part in the Clinch program. Clean inland shipping is our aim.